Eats today at Winter Good Eats. We're going to do one of my uh, all time favorites. We're going to do a turkey on the rotisserie. And we got Wolfie over here. He's patiently waiting. He knows something's up. So, this is about a uh, 12 to 14 pound turkey. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is take it out of the bag, give it a nice cleaning, take out the neck and the heart and the gizzards and all that stuff that they pack in there. Give it a good washing. And then uh, you're going to need some extra virgin olive oil, some pepper to grind, some sea salt, granulated garlic, a little onion powder, and some basil leaves. And uh, of course you're going to need your uh, rotisserie bar and uh, ends for the uh, rotisserie. So we'll get started, we'll clean this up. Okay, so we got our turkey in the sink. You always want to use cold water. Okay. And if you reach right down in there, pull out the neck and the tail. Go on the other end and you get your bag. We usually cut this up and um, fry it up for Wolfie. He loves it. Okay, so you can see we got our turkey in the pan. I pulled out a little string because usually they come with these little clips to hold the uh, the legs on. And that's fine. I leave that on there. It's just that these wings, they can uh, flop out quite a bit. So what I'll do is I'll take some of that string and just tie it from uh, tip to tip just to kind of hold it together. And then we'll... Uh, start getting this thing uh, all dressed up. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drizzle some olive oil on this. That's okay just to pour it over a little bit and keep a brush handy so you can brush it around. Okay if you get a little extra in the pan that's fine. Okay and that way all the good um, seasonings will stick to it. So first thing I'm going to do is hit it with some salt and you just want to drizzle that over just to get some salt on there, salt coating. All right, and then don't worry, and I got some black pepper, just kind of move that around. You can see it sticks to the olive oil nice. Okay, granulated garlic, and we'll put that on. This is, I'm going to say, Italian style. Italian style rotisserie turkey. Okay, now we got our onion powder. And we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of that over. You don't need a lot, just, just for a little bit of flavor. It's the turkey in the world, but if you don't have good gravy, it's, it sucks. <laughs> and a little bit of basil. Sprinkle that over. So this is about... Uh, 12 pounds and we're not putting any stuffing in because it tends to um, the, the inside won't cook enough uh, even though it's a rotisserie it's going to get hot in the grill and you want that heat to get inside there and help cook the turkey so if you want stuffing I would suggest you do that on um, we got that all done nice and seasoned up so I'm going to flip it back over and we're going to get our string okay don't skip on the string. String's cheap. Give yourself enough to, to work with. And what we do is we're just going to tie the wing on one end. And that's just enough to, to hold it. And again, you can use um, picks to hold the wings in if you want. But, and what you want to do is just come through Kind of, you want to aim for this right here and try to get it right through the, the legs like such. Okay, show you what that looks like. So you can see that. Okay, comes through. That's what it looks like on that end. Okay, so we got our ends. I want to kind of center the ball. Slide it on. And again, this stops the. Um, this will stop the turkey from spinning. So, I'm going to get it on there nice and tight. We've gotten our grill started. And you can see the flames have been going. Getting it nice and hot in there. That gets the back tiles really nice and hot. So that rotisserie 
should fire right up. So we'll shut those down. Get our rotisserie going on high. See that stays lit now because it's nice and hot on here. Nice and easy. Fit it right in. Now if you need to center it, you can see that it's kind of off center from that. So what we'll do is uh, we'll just loosen up the key. Alright. And we'll slide these on the bar so we get it nice and centered. Okay. Tighten it up. And then test our motor. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Let me show you what that looks like from my perspective. You can see that that's spinning nice. Everything's buttoned up nice. And that flame's going nice and good. Like I said, it's going to take about four hours. We'll check in about three, three and a half hours. So we got the hot liver and the gizzards all cooked up for Wolfie. Nice and cooled off. Let's see if he likes turkey. Oh, is that good, Wolfie? Oh, yeah, he likes it. That's a nice treat. That's all good for you. And take a nap after that. <laughs> he likes it. He's eating it all. So, we'll come back later when the turkey's done. So, after four hours, the turkey is done. You can see it's nice. Come out very nice on the rotisserie. So, we'll let that sit and rest, and we'll uh, carve it up and portion it out. And, um,. If you try this, uh, let me know how you make out.